Hello, good morning. It's Tracy Daviero here with you for our Monday morning Facebook Live. Today we are talking about time management. Um, it's something that comes up so often whenever you are a business owner for sure, but when you are working um, a lot on your own, when you're working uh, as a solo in your own office, it can be really difficult to schedule all the things that you need to get done in your business and make sure that you're not sort of working 24 seven, right? I think there's a misconception. Well, I know there's a misconception that you have to work all hours of the day. You have to work 80 hour weeks and all that kind of thing whenever you're a business owner so that you can get everything done. And I don't think that that's the case at all. I think that one of the things that, that we preach as VAs is that there are things in your business that you should be getting help with so that you're not, I mean, you don't have to work a 35 hour week, you know, and, and take one hour lunches and everything like that as though you had a job. Certainly there's, you know, there's probably some thing to the fact that, you know, we have to work a little bit harder than someone who just has uh, checks in and then checks out at the end of the day. Um, there's definitely things that we need to get done that are not being done by someone who is in a corporate working environment. So, um, but it's important to think that that we need to organize ourselves as well as we tell our clients to get themselves organized. And so sometimes that means getting support in your own business. And um, that's something that when you get too busy for all the things that you need to do, then you should you know definitely be considering that. And and certainly if you're looking to have a full practice as a VA and you're you're looking to have full billable time through the week, um, you know, you don't want to be up every night or on weekends or holidays or whatever it is up early mornings trying to get all the other pieces done because it really just, it, it's going to exhaust you is what it's going to do. So you want to be looking towards that and thinking about all the things that you can outsource. But today we're talking about time management. And so I want to talk to you about some of the things that, that I do and some of the things that I teach in terms of what you can be doing in your business right now to develop those good routines those good habits that you can bring into your business to uh, get a better hold over your time management now. So it doesn't really matter which stage you're at <coughs> of your business, whether you're starting or not, there's sort of three clear air. Well, there's a couple of clear areas where it's a really good idea to start being responsible for your time. Because I don't know about you, but one of the things that I do is if I don't put an end time on something, and I talk about end times a lot lately in my trainings and in my lives and in my, my uh, content and that kind of thing, because if you don't put a stop time on the end of something, then you can, you know, it, it just goes on and on and on. You could spend two or three hours doing something, and I've been very guilty of that. Um, I used to plan one hour to write uh, a newsletter article or something like that. So at 10 o'clock I would start, by 11 o'clock I needed to be done and move on to the next thing. And, and um, now sometimes I don't do that and I just am noticing that if I don't actually say, okay, I need to stop that and move on to something else. And this happens to me, um, if, I, if I don't do that, then maybe it's 12, maybe it's one, maybe I, you know, maybe I go do some more research or look for some more statistics or maybe I, you know, may spend a little bit longer making an image for a blog post, whatever it is. So, so I find I can get lost in my time. And so that's what I always try to teach you the things that, that I can do better in my business or that I'm noticing that can be done better and, and doing things more efficiently. So, so if you don't plan those end times, you can often lose uh, a lot of extra time and, and it's, I mean, really they're time, it's a time waste, right? It's a waste of time. So, um, but I find that this happens, this doesn't happen to me whenever I'm really busy. This happens to me when I have fewer things on the docket for the day. So if I'm looking at what I need to get done and I don't, have a ton of things to do, well, then there's no urgency for me to finish this and then move on to something else. So I find that that's really important um, to be able to develop those kinds of routines. And, and, you know, if you're not, if you have, if you're starting your business, you don't have clients yet, and you're doing some networking and you're, you know, you don't really have something driving you to, you know, complete this so that you can get to the next thing that, that and that phase can go on in your business in a long time. So, so you want to be able to still develop those good routines and say, okay, so I'll, I'll get all these things out of the way. Um, and then I still have the rest of my day. You don't want to be, you don't want to develop really bad habits from the, from the get go. So the basics of time management are, um, you want to set, you want to set, um, you want to be able to manage your time so that you know what you're doing at, at all times of the day. And that's not to be rigid or, or anything like that. It's about 
knowing how your day is going to lay out. So you want to, you know, if you have business, if you don't have business hours, you should be setting them. So think about that right off the top. Think about how you're going to break out your personal time. And that can be family time. That can be, you know, grocery shopping. That can be doing whatever you want to do. But think of all the things that you want to get done. And, and at the beginning of your day, map that out. Map out what, you know, what time you're going to spend on business, what time you're going to spend or what, you know, what other things that you need to get done. Um, you know, plan your breaks, plan your meals, plan that kind of thing. Try not to eat at your at your desk. It's that's a terrible habit to to come up with anyway to to begin anyway so you want to be able to plan your breaks and so what that helps you do is it sort of compartmentalizes your day and it helps you it actually helps you to develop the routines that you need so you know if you know that you're going to stop at 12 how long are you going to stop for you you know if you don't need i don't need an hour for lunch i don't uh, you know i like to but i like to put that in and say okay i'm going to stop because sometimes if you get really busy doing something all of a sudden it's two o'clock in the afternoon, you haven't had lunch, you haven't had anything, so then the inclination is to go and grab something quickly, which is probably not you know, a, a healthy lunch or something that you would plan for yourself anyway, and then eat at your computer, right? So you're just, you're compounding bad habits on top of bad habits. So if you can look at your day, at the beginning of your day, and I used to do this whenever I had a lot of client work and that kind of thing too, is break, break down your day. What are you gonna do in the morning? What are you gonna work on in the afternoon? And get really specific with yourself and, and let yourself know what you know what your blocks of time are going to be i can't talk enough about blocks of time because i find them to be really effective and even if you're not terribly busy it still helps you develop those routines like i said so so the first thing you want to do um, is obviously book in your client work whatever that client work is and if you don't have client work at this point well then your schedule is just a little bit more open to do the other things that you need to do and when you are putting your client work in and when you're starting to work on your client stuff um, you need to limit your distractions. So you want to be able to cut down all the other things that are going on, your Facebook, your other notifications, having your cell phone beside you, all those kinds of things. And so plan to work. And when, when you're working on client work, it's so important that that's all billable time. So you don't want to be distracted by all these things and have your client work take an hour to do something that maybe, you know, should only be taking a half an hour to do. And, you know, it's not about speed. It's not about that. It's about work pace. And it's about making sure that that you are focused on the task that you're working on at that particular moment and that you're not, um, you know, doing 10 other things. It's, it's, that's a really important thing. Make sure that you're doing your client work during what you consider to be your business hours. Not everybody works nine to five Eastern like I do. Um, you know, you some you might be you might be working after hours. You might be working half days, mornings or afternoons, whatever it is. But whatever your business hours are, make sure that you're doing your client work during those business hours because again, it's about building that routine and building that that habit of only working on client work whenever you are you know when you have your business time. Um, it's okay to leave the office or you know do whatever it is that you need to do. Some some of us like the flexibility of working from home and and that's that's a good thing but you don't want to be spending all your time outside of the office or doing other things that are not business related and then you end up doing your business things late at night or like I say early in the morning so you want to make sure that as much as you can your business hours are reserved just for your client work um, and when you do start to get too busy with things that's when you know you're going to start to think about getting help in your business and whatever that may look like to you um, you know, but being able to, the, one way to really figure out if you're too busy it, and, and maybe you do need extra support is actually to, to compartmentalize your day like that. If you're constantly saying, okay, I have this many things to do and they don't fit into my business hours, whatever that is, that's when you're going to realize that it's not about, you know, like I say, staying up late or, or running all the time or working quickly and trying to get things done. It's about, um, it's about, knowing you're looking right at your schedule you're looking at your task list for the day saying every single day i don't have time to get these things done not because i'm out at johnny's soccer game or you know doing the laundry or watching you know netflix or whatever you're doing you're not wasting your time that way but you when you're trying to fit everything in and it's consistently not fitting that's when you know that you need some help so so the other things you have to work on in your business and just have my little notes here so hold on um, is you need to also plan time. So for your client work, you now also need to plan your business admin. Okay, those are things that, that you need to fit in. And again, I wholeheartedly suggest that you do those during business hours as well. I know a lot of people who do that stuff after hours and it really just gets to drag on you after a while. If you can do a little bit every single day in terms of um, you know the things that you need to look after in your business to make it run smoothly, then uh, you know do, having good routines, 
doing daily activities, using checklists to get things done. I love checklists because they, I know then it's like it's stuff that I can take out of my brain because I just need to look at this list and I can just check off all the things. I just look at what needs to be done and it's kind of that's my way of working with myself, right? And so if you have checklists, if you have procedures, all that kind of thing set up, it really helps you to um, do the task quicker because you don't have to be relying on your brain to remember all the things that that uh, go with that. So you also have to look after your business marketing. And so in terms of that, um, you have to have a strategy. If you don't have a strategy in place to market your business, then again, you're going to be, you know, sort of wasting your time going in, posting social media, looking for connections, doing this and that. And and you know maybe writing content whatever it is if you don't if I don't put that one hour time block on for me to write an article and I don't have a deadline for that um, there's no one here to enforce it for me right and that's why time management is so important as a VA uh, because you are on your own and nobody's gonna tell you you really just you just wasted an hour you know because you didn't you weren't focused you didn't realize what you were doing and if I know that I can put a deadline for myself you know for an hour to get that blog post done if I don't get it done then I schedule another block of time to complete it because um, it's not about just letting it run over and saying okay well that one took me three hours today and I know so many people that that it takes so long for them to uh, it takes such a long time for them to write and so they struggle with it and they feel like they can't do, you know, a weekly post or a monthly post or whatever it is that they want to do because they're not really sitting down and, and putting that strategy together and saying, okay, these are the steps or a checklist. These are the steps I need to go through for me to be able to write effectively. So you want to make sure that, that all of the things that you're doing to market your business are, you know, you're, you have procedures for them and you know you're developing again those daily routines, those daily actions so that you can get them done properly. And doing a little bit every time, um, every time is one of the most important things, doing a little bit every single day because that's what helps you to move things forward all the time. And things don't become, they don't look like they're such daunting tasks whenever, you know, if you have a blog post to write, then maybe you can break that into things like doing a little bit of research, finding some, um, you know, links or statistics or something like that. If you have an image to make, maybe you can, you know, have a place where you have image ideas those kinds of things so you don't have to do all of it at once and take you know sort of three hours to do something then you don't want to do it again when you finally finish it you don't want to do it again for several weeks because it just took so much of your time but if you do a little bit all the time then that's what's going to help you move through and then the other thing you have to work on obviously is your business networking again um, if if you don't have a lot of clients you obviously have a lot of time to network but again it can be a huge time waste because if you don't have a strategy whenever you're going out to all these places that you need to go or connecting with people online if you're getting sucked down this you know the rabbit hole of social media um, if you don't have a particular plan in place and you don't manage the time that you're doing that by having a set goal what you intend to do the number of people you want to reach out to or you know if you want to move a relationship forward if you want to reach out to somebody else and or you know doing your follow-up whatever it is if you're building those relationships with the people that you have connected with then you want to be able to be doing again doing a little bit every day having a strategy in place having a routine building a good routine around it and being able to use procedures and checklists and that type of thing to to make sure that you're not missing out on things and you want to make sure that when you are looking at um, when you're looking at your day that you're fitting in all of the things that you need to fit in in order to get them all done but not to be exhausted by them and so you know some people like to do maybe their networking stuff once a week and again maybe that works for your schedule however that's however your schedule is set up but to me it's a little bit easier to do it a little bit of something every single day or every two days say if, you know if it's if it's something that you can't do every day um, but doing something every couple of days, it keeps it fresh. It keeps it, uh, you know, especially in terms of writing. If you um, are, if you're putting together your content, um, when you're sitting down to do it every day, it's things to, things flow a lot faster, right? If you're connecting with people, if you're you're networking with people online or offline or whatever it is, if you're having conversations about your business, if you're only doing that once every week or once a month, say you say you go to a, a local networking event and it's only monthly. If you're only doing that every month, then it takes, it, there's no momentum, right? Like it takes you to go from a standing start. It takes you, it, it takes you a lot longer to get back into it. And so when you're doing that regularly, when you're talking to people regularly about your business and doing your networking, then it's going to help you get 
it, get better at it for one thing, but it's also going to help you um, just have less thought about it and, and it's not going to slow you down. It's really actually going to speed you up. So, and that's what time management can do for you is being able to block those things into the places that I know I'm doing this a lot, sorry. Um, but that's, it's really what it's about. It's about compartmentalizing or putting, you know, blocks of time together for all the things that you want to do and having a real goal for that block of time, whether it's 15 minutes or an hour, I don't really ever suggest that anybody schedules something for more than an hour because I think that you, it's a big, big um, use of your, it's, it's a big block of time. And so if you constantly are booking things in 15 minutes or, or 30 minutes, then you can, you know, just add on an extra 15 minutes and you can move on to something else. And so, and it also keeps things fresh, right? It helps you keep understanding that, um, you know, you have a lot of things to get done. It keeps you moving from task to task and it helps you to get that pace in for whenever you do get really busy with clients. So, so I hope that's helpful. Um, a little bit of a different take on time management today in terms of uh, what you need to be focusing on and maybe give you some tips on how you can do that better in your business. So I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you here again next week. Take care. Have a good week.